Here we'll introduce the definitions for right, acute, and obtuse angles. But first, let's make sure you remember how to measure angles in degrees. So what's the measure of this angle here? If you're not sure, click down here to review. Exactly right, this angle is 90 degrees. Now 90 degree angles are also known as right angles. There's no such thing as a wrong angle or a left angle, but 90 degree angles are right angles. You'll often see right angles labeled with tiny squares like this one here. Now take a look at these angles here. Which of these are 90 degree or right angles? Here's a hint, there are two of them. Exactly, these are the two right angles, both measuring 90 degrees. If an angle has a measure less than 90 degrees, it's called an acute angle. So which of these angles here are acute? Precisely, these are the two acute angles. This angle is 60 degrees and this one is 30 degrees. And if an angle is greater than 90 degrees, but also less than 180 degrees, it's called an obtuse angle. Which of these angles are obtuse? Nicely done. This angle is obtuse and it's 130 degrees. This angle over here is even bigger than 180 degrees. It happens to be 300 degrees. Angles between 180 and 360 degrees are sometimes called reflex angles. So to summarize, angles less than 90 degrees are called acute, 90 degree angles are right angles, and angles between 90 degrees and 180 degrees are called obtuse. And by the way, 180 degree angles are also known as straight angles because they're the angle in a straight line. Before we get into what parallel means, why don't you identify which of these are lines? If you're not sure, click down here to review. Exactly, these are lines, meaning they're straight paths that go on forever in both directions. So without changing these lines, we can draw them so they're a little longer. Now points where lines cross are called intersections. So where do these two lines intersect? Exactly, these two lines intersect at this point over here. Next, take a look at these two lines. At which point do they intersect? Remember, lines go on forever in both directions. Right, even though these lines don't appear to be touching each other as we've drawn them, lines actually go on forever in both directions as indicated by these arrowheads. And you can see where these lines intersect by extending them. Sure enough, they intersect right where you said. Now lines that don't intersect are said to be parallel to each other. So take a look at these four lines down here. Which two of them are parallel to each other? In other words, which two lines don't intersect? Nicely done. So these two lines are parallel. No matter how much you extend them, they'll never intersect. Another way to think of parallel lines is that they run in precisely the same direction. Next, take a look at these lines here. Which of these are parallel to each other? And here's a hint, there are three of them that are all parallel to one another. Well done. So these three lines are all parallel to each other. No two of them intersect and all three run in the same direction. Let's finish this lesson by looking at another way to write that two lines are parallel. So here are two parallel lines and let's call two points on this line A and B and two points on this line C and D. Then one name for this line is AB with the line symbol written on top and this is line CD. Now if we put two vertical parallel bars between the names of the two lines, that's a quick way to write down that line AB is parallel to line CD. So for these two lines, which of these statements down here is correct? Make sure you give each of these letters a careful look. Exactly, this is line EH and this is line FG and they're parallel. Okay, one last question. Suppose I tell you that line AB is parallel to line CD and that line CD is then parallel to line EF. If all three lines are distinct, then is AB parallel to EF? So before you answer this, let's say what we mean by distinct. Suppose we have parallel lines WX and YZ. These lines are distinct, meaning they're different lines. 
They may be parallel, but WX is over here, while YZ is over here. Now, if the points W and X happen to be on the same line as the points Y and Z, then WX and YZ are now two names for the same line, so we say they're not distinct. So if AB, CD, and EF are all distinct, meaning no two of them are the exact same line, then is AB parallel to EF? Right, AB and EF are parallel. Let's sketch that out to make sure. Suppose this is line AB, and line CD is parallel. Now if we didn't specify that the lines are distinct, then points E and F could have been over here, on the same line as AB. So for this case, EF is not parallel to AB. They're the same line. Now because the question said all three lines are distinct, that means E and F had to be somewhere else, like over here. And sure enough, AB is parallel to EF. So if you ever have two lines that are parallel, and one of them is also parallel to a third line that's distinct from the other two, then all three lines will always be parallel. Before we get into perpendicular lines, can you identify which of these lines are parallel? To review parallel lines instead, click down here. Exactly, these two lines are parallel, meaning they don't intersect. Lines that do intersect form angles at their intersection. So for example, here's one of the angles formed at this intersection. What's the approximate measure of this angle? Nicely done. Next, let's draw in another line. So what would you say is the measure of the angle at this intersection? Precisely, this is a 90 degree angle, which is also known as a right angle. And right angles are usually indicated by drawing a little square in the angle. If you look carefully at this intersection, you'll notice that all four angles here are right angles. So here's the definition. Lines that form right angles at their intersection are said to be perpendicular to each other. So let's see some examples. Of these three pairs of lines here, which are examples of perpendicular lines? Nicely done. So these are the pairs of perpendicular lines. Now suppose you have two parallel lines, AB and CD. As you may already know, one way to write down that these two lines are parallel is to draw two vertical parallel bars between them. Now suppose you have two perpendicular lines, which we'll call PQ and RS. You can write down that these two lines are perpendicular by drawing an upside down T between them. Notice that the two line segments in this T are perpendicular to each other. Okay, so let's put all the notation together into a sample problem. Here are three lines, and suppose I tell you that line AB is perpendicular to line CD, and I also tell you that line CD is perpendicular to line DE. Then which of the statements down here is also true? 